what is going on guys it is chris and today i want to make a video that's a bit different from what i've been posting recently so a few weeks back i posted a video uh that was sort of like a mini montage of clips that i got with using the Cremils dagger on ps4 and the whole point of that video was to highlight um the use of that certain hand cannon on console because for 110 hand cannons there's a bit of a learning curve to them and it's really hard to use versus using say a 140 or a 150 hand cannon and um it i i personally feel like with my play on both pc and on console that the use of the hand cannon is a lot harder on console than it is on pc everything all the different parts included so what i'm going to do now is i'm on pc right now and as you can see um you can see i have the pc reticle those are the pc settings and what we are going to do is test the recoil pattern between using keyboard and mouse versus using controller so as you can see now because of the reticle this is keyboard and mouse this is controller and as you can see if you pay attention to the reticle in the game this is this reticle specifically is for a uh, controller and this reticle is slightly different is for keyboard and mouse so whenever you see this reticle that's how you know that i'm using a keyboard and this is how you know i'm using controller so we're just going to shoot this wall not going to move we're not going to move our uh, mouse or a thumbstick at all and we're just gonna shoot at the f by fastest rate of fire and see how the re recoil looks all right so that is with a keyboard and mouse as you can see with my Cremils, i am using the crossfire sight and armor piercing round. So this is the lowest stability you can get on this hand cannon. And even for that low of stability, you can see that with keyboard and mouse, it's not that much recoil, but here's where things get interesting. Right now, as you can see, this is using controller and we're gonna do the same thing. Immediately, you can see a difference in the recoil pattern. There's a lot more recoil on controller than there is on keyboard and mouse. So now what we're going to do is we're going to going to reset. And I'm going to change the FOV from 105, which is the maximum on PC, to 75, which is the maximum on PS4 and Xbox One. And by maximum... This is the only FOV setting that you get on console. Now we're going to do the same thing. The reticles at this point are going to be slightly different, but if you notice the slight variation, this is PC that's a little tighter, keyboard and mouse, and this is controller. It's slightly more spaced out. So we're going to do the same thing. PC or keyboard and mouse recoil pattern. again that's the reticle now we're switching it up back to controller so we're getting that same high recoil pattern that you get on controller but the difference if you're able to notice it is that the screen shake at a higher at a lower fov is much more drastic then the screen shake at a higher FOV. So we're just gonna switch this quickly back to 105. Hopefully show you the difference. This is controller still, but the even though the recoil pattern is the same, you can see that that visual effect of the screen moving at a lower FOV 
right, a higher FOV at this point is a lot less drastic than if I'm doing this at a lower FOV. And this is where the differences between PC and consoles start to show. And it's not the fact that PC, you have the keyboard and mouse, which doesn't have aim assist or sticky aim. It has aim assist and bullet magnetism, but it doesn't have the sticky aim that controllers have. But what PC also has is the ability to run not only a higher frame rate, but also a higher field of view, which in turn affects your, uh, it, it affects your view and it also affects the visual effect of recoil on certain guns, which makes it harder to use the guns because you have to fight the visual recoil as well as the actual recoil of the gun. In addition to getting shot at, that flinch that happens with that becomes more severe at higher FOVs. And if I can show one thing in this specific clip, I'm going to try and get as far away as possible from these Cabal. And just try and shoot and see how, how well I can do with critical hits. Unfortunately, I am doing pretty bad right now. Those Cabal are pretty far away. I actually have to die because I ran out of ammo. So please let me die, Cabal. Right now, we're going to switch back to uh, keyboard and mouse. And we're just going to see the difference between aiming at further distances due to that lower recoil. Spoiler alert. You're going to see that even though there is no sticky aim involved with keyboard and mouse, you're going to see that, look at how easier it is to hit shots. I didn't miss that shot, but you're starting to see how easier it is to hit critical shots at a further distance. If I was doing that on controller, even with the sticky aim, the sticky aim would have fallen off because at that point it would have fallen out of the gun's maximum range potential in turn making making that essentially worthless but the thing with the recoil on pc is that it makes it a lot easier to hit successful shots back to back versus on controller where you have to wait for your screen to reset, you have to wait for the gun to reset. And it, in turn, makes it, in my opinion, harder to use, despite what you get like with the aim assist and the sticky aim on console. So that's that. Now I'm going to do one more quick thing to try and highlight the sort of disadvantages that you get with trying to use a controller and trying to use this gun specifically on console. And this is going to involve dropping the frame rate down to 30 frames per second. Right now we're running above 60 FPS. We're gonna lock it to 30 FPS. And you're gonna notice one thing specifically. You're gonna notice how jarring using this gun and trying to fight the recoil of this gun on 30 FPS is. Like one of the things you're noticing is that I'm having to take a lot more care and take longer time trying to let the gun reset naturally to hit the successful shots. Whereas with keyboard and mouse, because there's such more, there's such lower recoil that I don't have to wait that long and I can just follow up with shots rather quickly. Even though this is, I'm switching over to keyboard and mouse. Just want to show that even, even with, even with the using a keyboard and mouse at 30 frames a second, you still have the ability to have your gun be ready quicker 
and hit successful shots a lot easier than you do on PC, or not on PC, but on console. Even at 30 frames per second. That's really all that I wanted to cover in this video. This turned out to be a, lo a longer video, but it's really hard to try and articulate these thoughts in this way um, without like having actual uh, numbers to back you up. But I wanted to really highlight the differences between using a hand cannon, specifically the Grimmel's Dagger, on PC versus using it on console and different effects that it has when using the different input methods and just showing just showing how just showing how the gun feels different on a different platform on different settings. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did drop a like, um comment down in the description if you feel otherwise. But this is Chris and as always I'll see you later.